Come on in. Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am so excited to show you today's video. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a 2022 Numar Essex and it is available. This is our most popular floor plan. It's the 4551 and this is a fantastic coach. Um, again, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. Uh, you can always find us on uh, YouTube at TTTRV, and you can find my whole entire library of videos at RVs Inside Out. And as usual, I'd like to start from the inside out, so Jody, go ahead and take her on back. Uh, today's video is really exciting to me because I get to show you the Riviera, Riviera interior and exterior uh, paired together. So this is really the way that uh, Newmar envisioned this model when they came up with this color combination. And then also really excited about this, the ginger glazed cherry cabinets are really unusual. We do a lot of maple. So what you'll notice in this coach is there's a ton of really beautiful wood grain. And I just love to show it off. Um, so new for 2022, uh, there's a few features here that we should really point out to differentiate uh, the Essex from the London Air. Uh, one of the things that we'll start off with by looking at is down here we can see these beautiful rounded cabinets. So as you can see, instead of a flat cabinet base here, we have this beautiful touch of this rounded wood. Now, it's important to understand there's a woman that works at Numar, and she actually will take a coach from beginning to end when she does the finishes for these woods uh, so that she has this same finish and patina across the entire coach so that it all matches seamlessly. Uh, and everything here is handcrafted. And I'd like you to see here on the side, uh, manufacturers right now are definitely cutting some corners in terms of savings, uh, saving cost, but you can see that we have this beautiful dovetail drawer, so this is still in effect on the Essex. Uh, some of the lower line models will have staples or, or, or nails there, but the Essex is going to spare no expense. Everything is going to be the height of perfection. Um, if you look at this beautiful countertop, you can see how your vessel sinks. Um, are mounted on this sparkly, beautiful, um, hard polished surface. And what's nice about this is it's very forgiving. It's something that's not going to show a lot of wear. Um, also, I'd like to show you here. Uh, here's an access point to your washer and dryer. Now, an important thing to notice about this Essex, um, you know, above and beyond. So first of all, your vanity lights are above and then you have a backlit mirror so you've got really really good bright light coming out of here but also a really nice modern backsplash and really beautiful modern faucets as well but the difference between the Essex and the London Air is going to be that in this uh, this corner here you've got this really really nice stackable washer and dryer with a big drawer down here and then things like um, your standard heater or standard heated floors um, another thing that's going to be nice for this uh, Essex for you is that this uh, engine cover that you can see down here is heated. So this is going to actually allow you to not only, you know, have your toesies warm when you get out of bed, but if you come back out, maybe you're looking for something in your closet in the morning, it's also going to be warm. Um, now, of course, a standard feature in the 4551 Essex is going to be the egress door. Um, a lot of people don't understand how beneficial this is, but if you're loading your lawn, if you're loading your linens, uh, maybe you've got some laundry you like to take out um, at the end of your trip. If you've got your towels, your sheets, if you want to bring some things in, jackets and such, very, very nice. So not only is it something that you can use for a security system, but it's also something that you can use if you would like to be able to load and unload your, uh, your goods as you're getting ready for your camping trip. Now here in the back, we're also going to have another really neat standard feature. When I open this door, the LED light comes on. As you can see, we've got the cedar lined uh, wardrobe as well as the shoe closet. Also note that these shoe uh, holders are all carpet lined, so nice and quiet. And you have a ton of storage off here to the right. So lots and lots of shelves. Those are adjustable, so if you wanted to have more hanging space, you could make them lower or take them out. You also have your standard safe. And then if you'll notice, we've got this mirror, which is just really, really decadent, just a complete full pane mirror, uh, which would give you a great opportunity to see how you look, make sure you're stunning on your way out in the morning. And then over here, we also have more hanging space, and I love the way they've broken this up, giving you a place to keep maybe your shirts 
and blouses that way you've got just a little extra room so just a really really nice execution on Newmar's part as usual um, I'm sure if you've been following our channels for a while you know that this is absolutely one of my favorite vehicles um, I have three 2022 Newmars left in inventory and at a point in time where wait times are pretty uh, significant if you're looking to take delivery of something soon, not only is this vehicle available, I have another Essex that is already, uh, how should we say, frozen or the options have been chosen. And then I have another 2022 that you could still change options for. So as opposed to ordering the new 2023, you could actually save quite a bit of money and have this fantastic uh, 2022. Now you'll note here we have really nice residential style rain head faucet. Uh, we also have here, our Aquaview uh, Aquamizer system. So this is a really neat uh, feature. The shower miser, what it does is if you turn this over, it goes to recycle. And when it's on recycle, you'll see there's actually a little picture of it recycling. It's actually taking this water while it's heating and it's taking it from your 105 fresh gallon tank and putting it back into your gray water tank. I'm sorry, into your fresh water tank. So it doesn't go into your gray water tank. It circles through until it's hot and then when it's hot this little light will turn from blue to red and it lets you know that the water's to temperature you switch this back over now it's filling your gray water tank so you're able to conserve water it's a really really nice feature another nice thing is of course we've got these assist handles uh, ken williamson is going to text me during today's video and tell me whether or not this is a 250 or 300 pound capacity uh, hopefully i hold me when i sit down on it but as you know, as you note, you can see I can wash my legs, uh, I can clean my feet off. We've got this beautiful linear drain down here, this very nice residential uh, tile floor, beautiful solid uh, tile walls with this lovely, uh, really blingy in, uh, inset. So I just love this feature. I also think that having your shampoo, conditioner, and body wash on site in your shower where you don't have to take it and stow it in between trips is really, really handy. And then on top of that, we have a towel bar um, times two on the exterior of the shower. So really, really handy. Great feature there. You can really easily open the door, grab your towel. And then, of course, we have our robe, book, robe hook here as well. So that is just a really, really nicely executed restroom. Um, of course, this is the main suite. This is a bath and a half model. And then you'll notice that when you come into the bedroom here, we've got a lot of really interesting features so first and foremost this app here i've got it showing these uh floor zones so you have store on uh, two of them and then i have the front set to one just so i can kind of show you how that works when you turn it all the way down it goes to store so you can change all of your uh stores all of your uh your heated areas to different temperatures and you can go all the way up to 10 so on those cold nights if you want to have a really nice toasty toes underneath your socks when you get out of bed set it to 10. i'm going to go ahead and turn it down because as usual in colorado it probably was snowing in our last video i think it's going to be like 80 today oh and i'm going to go ahead and turn that back up to store so there's a difference between store and off just giving you a little extra heat there uh, now keep in mind this whole system is very unique uh, to the king air and the london air I'm sorry, the King Air and the Essex, not the London Air, in that it has my Rosie. And so that's a very big differentiating feature. And what that means, as long as you have your Wi-Fi connection, you can actually log in and turn your coach on and have it primed for you so that when you go to pick it up, it's already kind of warmed up, everything's ready to go, and you can monitor things from outside. So here we have our home screen, just showing you our digital display of our fresh black and gray water tanks. You can also see our batteries. We've got AC power. We've also got our DC power here, so you can see that we're actually using some of our voltage here. I can turn my generator on here with manual start, manual stop, and I can also check all of my water fills. I can check my climate control, so I've got this set right now to 72 degrees. I can turn my block heater on on a cold night. I've already covered floor heat. But then I really like this feature here. So here's my camera system. So this 360 camera is not only nice for when you're driving and parking, but as you can see here, you can also see around the vehicle so you know what's going on outside. And so you can actually see if you've got guests or visitors or you hear something go bump in the night. Great way to be able to look at things. And then here for lights and shades, I can go ahead and control all of those here. I can control my door locks, see whether or not my entry doors are locked, my cargo doors are locked. 
Um, so, and then I can also go to my configuration, set my generator so that I can have it set to auto gen start. And then uh, I can change my brightness so I can turn this off at night. And I actually had a client who texted me and said, this thing is so bright, can I turn this off? Absolutely, it's a, got a dimmable, dimmable feature which is really nice. Um, again, just take a look at this cherry. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful finish on this uh, on this coach. And then, as you can see, really nice again carpet line storage up here. And then down below at our emergency exit windows, we also have our carefree awning package deployed. Uh, that's controlled right here in the um, in the cabinet overhead. And there's one both on the uh, driver's side and on the passenger side. I will pull these in right now uh, for our beauty shot today. We had them deployed. It's actually helping to keep the coach much, much cooler in the sun. It's really, really nice. Um, and then down below us, you'll notice that uh, in the Essex, you have not only this wonderful Samsung 4K smart TV, you also get this Bose sound bar. So that will be both in the King Air and in the Essex. But something that you won't get in the King Air are these windows, as you can see, that open. So you actually have a window here with a screen that can open for cross ventilation. So a really, really nice feature in this Essex. Um, also, take a look at the length and uh, the amount of room you have here on your dresser. So you've got two 110 outlets. You've got these fantastic full extension drawers, all soft clothes, of course, still dovetailed throughout. Um, so just a ton of really nice storage. And then as you'll notice, look at how much room we have here in this bedroom. A ton of room, not only to get in and out of bed, but to walk by the bed. So for those of you that are looking for something that gives you good access to being able to get out of bed at night on either side, this is your coach. Now we do have the wireless charging docks here on top of either side of the nightstands. And then here we also have our outlets underneath. We've got the 110 outlets as well. So really, really nice there. And then you'll see that we have this really decadent wainscoting all the way through the coach. And you've got these inset beveled mirrors, which are just really, really nice on either side. And this is a trait that is unique to the Essex. Um, now, when I open this, there's another full size mirror here. So I have a full length vanity mirror with this closed so I can see how I look before I get up and out for the day beyond that of the closet. So just a really great 360 view. Uh, now up here you'll notice that we have again a ton of storage there are 110 outlets so you can see your 110 outlets are up here and then down below here there are grommets so if you've got anything that you need to plug in and that you'd like to have the cords going through you could run your laptop but also look at that soji screen behind this rv or behind this uh this bed so really nice now again opening uh opening windows not only on either side but also behind at the bottom here. So if you like to have some fresh air in the coach while you're sleeping, a really nice unique feature to something. Um, so the King Air has two gigantic lithium ion battery packs. Um, it has a 12.5 kilowatt generator. It's got a 605 horsepower engine. It's got 1,950 foot pounds of torque. All of these things are the same except for those lithium ion batteries. This coach though has 800 amp hours of battery power standard um, and just coming from a coach i had a 2020 renegade with uh with solar and the 300 amp hours of battery with my solar package really was enough for us so having 800 amp hours of solar is really fantastic and then that 12.5 kilowatt generator you know paired with your three uh 15, btu air conditioning uh, units on top of the coach and your heat pumps gives you plenty of uh, cooling if you need to go out into the desert and you're in a hot place camping. Uh, so I encourage you, both options are good, but for the savings beyond a King Air, uh, the Essex is a really, really nice choice. It has the mana block system on it as well. And then uh, here you'll see our extra chairs. But what I really wanted to point out to you is on the left and right hand side here, you'll see that we have these little cubbies where if you had a system that you needed to be able to put a, um, you know, a, a sleep uh, or a, uh, a breathing device, you could do that. And I just want to give you the measurement for between here because I think that that's important. So you've got eight inches of width. And then in terms of depth, underneath here, you have a whole 30 inches deep. So there's quite a bit of storage underneath there if you do have uh, a device that you need to plug in that needs to be below your heart rates or below your heart level. So that's important. Uh, of course, tons and tons of storage. 
and then you can see those beautiful lights underneath that kind of give you that nice glow. So you've got a lot of really nice uh, lighting available here. Of course, these big solid doors to give you some privacy as well. Just a really, really nice coach. Now, something new for 2022, uh, we came up with a system where instead of having to push and pull to open these, uh, these cabinets, when you engage the RV into drive, this little latch here pops out and actually locks these so they stay locked in place. You don't have to worry about heavy items coming and flying out. So we used to have a push release, but these just come out naturally. There's no push to release and they're all full extension. They're also all adjustable so you can change the height of, uh, of the items that you have and they're really, really wide. For those of you that are looking to get a little bit of information on this coach before you buy it, um, it's about 17 and a half inches in terms of interior, interior depth. And then here we're about 26 inches uh, deep. So the width of 17 and the depth of, of 26. Um, but again, six really nice full extension drawers. And then another difference between the London Air and the Essex is going to be that the Essex has the full panel finish as opposed to the stainless. But of course, we still have these really classy stainless steel handles. And then this refrigerator is fantastic. As you can see, it does have a water dispenser and it also has a, a full filter inside. But I love the fact that you can adjust this little shelf for items that are taller, perhaps. Um, and then tons of drawer space. And then a really, really nice amount of freezer space. Now we are going to have a, a freezer uh, tray on the side as well. But as you can see, tons of room here. And this coach is winterized, so you will have green ice cubes unless you let us take it out or take the uh, winterization out and put water on board for you, which we would be happy to do. Um, here in Colorado, I guess you never know if it's going to be snowing or if it's going to be raining or if it's going to be, you know, 90. I think it's going to be 90 later on this week. Today's supposed to be a high of 76. And then I think the last video I did, I think I had to wear a jacket and a beanie. So <laughs> we do keep everything winterized here until after Mother's Day. Of course, today is the day after Mother's Day. So uh, to all of you moms out there, I know we do an amazing job for our kids and we work really hard. So happy Mother's Day. I'm glad to be part of that community. And then I'm also going to bring in this carefree awning so we can have this coach without, um, without the awnings out on both sides. And as you can see, these are really easy to retract. They're right here inside of either one of these uh, cabinets on, uh, on both the driver and passenger side. And I'm just bringing that cabinet up right now so you can see what that window looks like under, or behind you. So this is an optional window for the record. Um, you don't necessarily have to have that. If you don't prefer to have it, you don't need to have it. But I do think that that Soji screen really just kind of adds to, 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 to the panache of the coach. Oh shoot, Jody, look at this. I forgot to turn the lights on. Well, that'll just give us an opportunity to show how bright this uh, interior room is. And then I'll, also I can show you what happens when I do turn these lights on. So if I turn on this vanity light and the mirror light, Take a look at that. I mean, just amazing amount of light here. Uh, and then I'll turn on my overhead. I didn't actually turn this on yet, uh, but super nice. Of course, we have these fantastic fans in all the bathrooms. They are rain sensor. And then here, I can't speak highly enough of the detail and consideration that Newmar puts into the way that they put these coaches together. All of your, uh, all of your breaker boxes and fuse panels are very, very clearly labeled. Everything is so tidy. Uh, so neat printed labels. I mean For those of you that have been in the RV market for a while, you know that there's different levels of quality But there's just nothing compared to that of a Newmar um, Really really for um, for the money that you can have, you know Not being in that Prevo market to have this level of detail and finished is just so spectacular um, Now of course we have our Dometic toilets and they're all these porcelain potties and what's nice about this is you can see this is actually a really nice and roomy bathroom and this is the bathroom that you would have available to you at midship while you're going down the road. Uh, here you've got a lot of storage here for your linens. And then there's more storage here as well. And then you'll also note that down here we have our simple bath. And another drawer as well. And then your touchless flush for your Dominic potty. So really, really nice execution. Again, on the behalf of Newmar. Now, something to think about. Of course, I just forgot to turn the bathroom lights on. What if you forgot to turn them off? New in 2022, Numar has started to integrate an all lights off switch above the bed. 
Um, so not only does this coach have a tablet where you can control things on your Samsung tablet, but if you get to bed and you've left your tablet up, you know, maybe at the dining table and you don't have it with you and you know you forgot a few lights on in the coach and you want to turn them all off, there's a KIB switch where you can actually hit all off and you'll turn all the lights off in the coach while you're in bed instead of having to get out and, you know, rock, paper, scissors to see who has to get out of bed after you're all snuggled up. So really, really nice feature there. And it seems like something that is, you know, not that big of a deal, but you know, it really is, especially, you know, the conveniences that you have in this coach. I wish I had an all lights off switch in my house. I mean, how nice would that be? I mean, that's like the best idea ever. So um, just love Numar's ingenuity. I'm gonna go ahead and close this so that we can see the walking room in a little bit here. Let's make sure we talked about everything. 105 gallons of fresh water, 80 gallon gray water tank. So what does that mean? Um, the 80 gallon gray water tank that means that when you're doing your dishes, you can just use this nice sink with your residential style faucet head. Oh, by the way, this is a touch. So this is touch uh, to turn on and off. So in other words, this is now locked because the light's not blue. And then when I touch it again, it turns blue. And then that would actually function. So I actually have a lock feature on my residential faucet here, which is pretty fantastic. But you've got plenty of room here. And then you can just use your dishwasher. Oh, you know what? I don't have the generator running. I turned it off. Anyway, so your dishwasher is a great place to do drying. Um, now, another feature that's new for 2022 is that we have a, 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 an increased cabinet height. So we're up to 18 and a half inches, giving you an even larger cabinet or even larger kitchen window. And then we've also enhanced uh, the size of these slide trays so that you have better, um, better use of space here as well. And then of course, again, all carpet lined, you know, just really, really nice featured um, RV. Like I said, much nicer than a lot of homes that are out there on the market. Um, just a great job. Oh, Ken Williamson says, not positive answer yet, but we do believe that the capacity on the seat in the shower is 250 pounds. So there we go. Thank you, Ken. I'm sure you're tuning in and watching us out there in Napanee. Uh, now, on the note of Napanee, that is where all of these coaches are manufactured. Um, Numar has done a fantastic job at keeping up with their growth. Um, they have multiple buildings that do different things, and they have um, everybody that is in this uh, system at, at Numar, uh, their family. You know, they, they've been with a company for years and years. But, you know, that being said, they've gone from a few buildings to having a whole campus and it has really allowed them to maintain quality. And we've had a lot of questions, you know, since Winnebago bought Numar, have you seen a dip in quality? No, if anything, not having COVID shutdowns and being open, you know, at regular working hours has really allowed us to grow and prosper as a company. And honestly, the interesting thing for me is we get, you know, Ken Williamson and we get, you know, Troy out here, our reps, talking about how great the community is at Numar how much uh, the whole company believes in the build quality, believes in the, you know, the, the fact that when you know the difference, you buy a Numar. And that's really reassuring to me because I just bought my first Numar Superstar. And I have to tell you, I'm thoroughly impressed. Uh, one of the things I really like about it is the Oasis system. So your hot water system here, of course, this is an all electric coach. You have a tankless hot water system. Um, so you have unlimited hot water. Um, but it's really cool because it's now a dual loop system giving you even more control over your your water but it's also been very very reliable to me which i think is just fantastic and worth noting and i i love um the fact that i have this uh ability to take my true induction cooktop out so i can take this out and i can go and put this on my picnic table and use all of the same pots and pans that i have here uh, in my in my coach and so, you know, not only do you have fantastic storage, but because you've got such great utility, you can really uh, use your cooktop interior and exterior without having to have a second set of dishes. Now, if you think that that looks nice, check this out. How is this? If you need a little extra room, maybe you're having a little bit of a dinner party. Really, really love this feature. Now I didn't show you, and I probably should because if you haven't tuned into one of my videos on the back in, in the past, um, again that's at Arby's Inside Out. We also have these cutting trays. Now I would recommend taking this into Walmart, 
just saying, because they have lots of stuff. Um, and getting one that's just a little bit thinner. And I replaced my nice cutting board uh, with a thinner plastic one that fits right inside here in this little recess. I guess on this coach, you probably want to do it with a nice cherry wood. Uh, but um, what's nice about that is then I can put my phone on it. And if I take a turn, it doesn't go skittering off onto the floor. A great place for spices here. I mean, no one can argue that. What an amazing idea to have a spice tray. I am going to go ahead and put this little island back in for us. Um, but I love that. And I love the way that they have these false front doors so you don't notice that it's an island that's going to pop out. Uh, so more storage once again. And then as we leave the galley here, and we go into the living quarters, you'll see that there's um, a lot of storage above your opposing couches. So this is a big deal. A lot of people like these opposing couches. You'll also notice that I have 84 inches of headroom. So I am not this tall. I'm totally faking it. Um, I found these at Nordstrom Rack. They were just too decadent not to take. But I mean, even with my fake shoes on, I've got so much, so much room to stand up. So for those of you that are taller that are looking for a coach with that headroom, this is definitely it. Um, and then here, you've got all of your hookups here. So you can hook up your Blu-ray player, you can hook up your satellite system, you can use your 4K TV, however you want to do it. And then you've got your surround sound, so another sound bar. And then there's another one outside on top of it. So we've got surround bars or sound bars throughout this coach, totally decadent. Um, and one of the nicest features about this coach in my estimation is I'm going to go here to systems and I'm going to go ahead and hit theater mode. And What's so nice about theater mode, oh, Jody, catch that carefree awning before it disappears. There it goes. Okay, so what's so nice about theater mode is you're in this coach and you're getting ready to watch a movie. Instead of having to do a lot of work, you can literally push one button and all of your shades are drawn. You've got this amazing mood lighting for this beautiful uh, decorative overhead ceiling. Uh, now, keep in mind, all of your returns are here, really easy to access your uh, really easy to access your filters, but such a nice, rich look in this coach with theater, uh, theater seating. Now, if you have tuned into my videos almost every single time I completely match my RV, I want you to know I did do that today. It was really hard. I have this little bracelet. It's got the pink and the turquoise. See that Jody? For those of you who didn't know. Um, now let's talk about theater seats. Oh my goodness, these are so incredible. So on each one of these, on the left and right side, we have a really nice little outlet where I can plug in my phone to charge just in case I fall asleep. These are so nice. So this is as flat as they get. I get a lot of questions. Do you think you could sleep here? Absolutely. Um, can everyone sleep here? I don't know. Do they go completely flat? No, they're not completely flat, but they're awfully darn comfortable. And they're so posh and puffy and so comfortable. This is just the most magnificent coach. And it's funny because today when I was driving it over here, you know, not only do you have, like I said, that 1950 foot pounds of torque and that big K3 Spartan chassis, but with comfort drive, I'm literally using one finger to turn and I've got my 360 overhead camera on and I'm navigating. It's parked out in front of the wash bay. There's two coaches behind me. There's all sorts of commerce going on in this big, big store. You know, we carry Renegade. We carry Winnebago. We carry Newmar. We're a Freightliner Spartan, uh, a, a, an elite, uh, Daimler elite uh, certified manufacturer with chassis and house all available in one location. This is a big, big, busy place. And here I am with one finger and my goofy high heels driving around in a 45 foot, well, 44 feet, 10 inches long, but 45 foot Newmar Essex. And it's so effortless. It's so comfortable. Anyone can do it. If you ever have been afraid of driving a coach, get yourself an Essex. Uh, the way that the air suspension works on this, combined with the power, the vibrating seat, if you go out of the lines, the mobile eye, all of those safety features, the comfort drive steering, um, all of it really, really makes this a coach that is second to none in terms of a driving experience. Um, and I hate to say that because, I mean, not everyone can afford an Essex, but Lord, if you can, this is the, R this is the right RV for you. Um, so take a look at all of this space. So, so much room in here and then a nice little tray so that if you do want to keep your remote in there, you could do that. You keep your books in there. So super, super nice. 
Um, now let's talk a little bit about these uh, these shades. So I'm going to go ahead and turn everything back on. So we have again, we're going to turn on our ceiling lights. We'll turn on our dinette lights, our overhead lights. We'll turn in our uh, reading lights, right? So we can turn all these things on. Or turn on our wall lights and our accent lights. So we turn everything on. And then Jody, if you want to just catch this here, so here's shades. Um, so what's really nice about this is I can hit shades and I can say kitchen living room night shades. I can push them and they all go right back up. And what do you find behind these shades when I open them? More windows. So for those of you that have been shopping the King Air versus the Essex, um, I do have sheets uh, that are provided to me by Ken Williamson on the bump ups from London Air to Essex, on the bump up from Essex to King Air. Um, I can share all of that information with you and what's really nice about them is it, it can help you to kind of understand when you're shopping what you're looking for. But one of the benefits that we have with this coach is look at the look at the huge, huge windows that you have here. So, so much window display and I've got this carefree awning down. I'm going to go ahead and pull that back up, but you've got so much light coming into this coach and then you have these wonderful storage bins overhead. And I know that this sounds silly, but this is such a valuable space. Um, in the King Air, this is optional. In my mind, um, if I can have this much window coverage, I don't think that I would necessarily need to uh, omit these because they provide you so much storage. You can keep so many puzzles in here, games, all of those things that you do when you're out there camping with the kiddos. And um, on that note, I wanted to make sure that we measured today this buffet because this is one of the things that makes this a great seating option. Uh, we do have an optional uh, Euro booth, but for those of you that might want to entertain, let's go ahead and just take this at the depths here. So this at its, at its deepest is a little over 19 inches. And then let's go ahead and run this down. So for those of you that want to have chips and dip out and salsa and a cheese plate and some, some wine and hang out with some friends, this is over 75 inches across. So that's more than six feet uh, long. So, so much additional storage, so much additional um, room for entertaining. And then I have this table, ex I have it extended. So this can go out as far as, let's see what your table depth is here. Um, somebody told me the other day, this looks like it would not be a great table for four. I can tell you, I think I would be more comfortable for three, but hopefully when you're dining in your coach, it's because it's raining outside. And most of the time you're sitting around the picnic table. Okay, so this is just about 34 inches in terms of overall depth. And then when I bring this in, you can see it's nice and compact, but still leaving you with just about 19 inches of overall space there. Now, where this also is really fantastic is if you didn't notice, there's a grommet here. Um, and another difference between the London Air and the Essex is that you have this really nice uh, subway tile, no clock. So if you're used to that Newmar clock, you don't get a Newmar clock, you get this a really nice decorative subway tile. Um, but now if you didn't notice, there's this little grommet here and that's so that you can run your computer. So you could put your big old monitor here. There's 110 outlets with two USB ports on this side as well. Um, and then you have a place where you could put your printer and store that so you can have a printer storage. So this is really a very workable office space with a lot of extra room down below. And when I say extra room, I mean in some of these, these little cutouts are, you know, like four or five inches deep. And this, this is actually uh, almost a foot deep. This is about 11 and a half inches deep to the lip. So lots and lots of storage underneath for those of you that might have a little business to attend to so that you can go ahead and go on vacation. Now, the other thing that I really like about this is if you're going to have paperwork like this gigantic bin of books, um, it's really nice to have a full-fledged file cabinet. So you've got a full-fledged file cabinet here, or you could use it for your crock pot. I mean, you, you pick, depends on how you're camping, what you're doing. But once again, just a really fantastic buffet and dining option. And the other thing that's nice is, I don't know if you're like me, but when I get done eating at the end of the day, and maybe we're all hanging out inside, I like to, you know, set my chair back, have a glass of wine, and just kind of relax. And this gives you no restrictions in terms of how much room you have in the booth. So really, really like this, this setup. Um, and so this is just a great galley. Again, um, 
so many features that are available here on this Essex. And honestly, the 2022 Essex is much, much like the 2020 King Air. Man and block system, big engine, you know, 20,000 pound towing capacity, uh, 20,000 pound trailer capacity, you know, a lot of these, these things. It doesn't have 16 batteries, it's got eight. Makes it a little lighter weight, which is always good. Jody, did I show you guys this? Did I do that one? I did. Did I show you that there was a stainless steel trash can here and a place to store to store your uh, your uh, your toppers? I probably didn't. And then a nice system here for you to be able to take in and out all of your cleaning supplies. I don't think I did that. So um, just in case I forgot. And I knew I didn't show you this because this is my favorite thing. I show this to everybody. I love that you can keep your scrubbies right here. Um, now, just back to size once again. Very important to note that you have so much counter space here. So in terms of overall counter depth, we're talking about 33 inches. So that's better than a residential home. And then underneath here, you've got 110 outlets here and then also here. So good places to keep your coffee pots on either end of your workstation. Plenty of room there. And then a really nice, very big residential style microwave and convection oven. Um, for those of you that are like, oh man, convection, I have to tell you at Williams-Sonoma, they have something called a clay pot. You soak it in water, you put it in your oven, you can cook your chicken in there and it won't get dried out. So that is a difference between a regular oven and a convection oven. Um, but that being said, if you're trying to make Girl Scout cookies, um, if you're trying to make Girl Scout cookies, you're darn good. If you're trying to make chocolate chip cookies or anything along those lines, everything cooks very similarly in this oven as it would in your home. Um, but I do understand that for some of your poultry items and things along those lines, you might want to have something that you can use. Williams-Sonoma clay pot, get one for home, get one for your RV. Fantastic. It fits. And that's most important. Um, okay, so we've covered this. You know, I'm sure I've missed stuff. There's always things to catch. You know, more cubby space, of course. Two more outlets with USB ports and 110 access. Another two with one with two uh, 110 access, access points below, two above, and then two more USB ports once again. So you know, tons of tons of stuff here. Um, oh, let's see if I can hit my camera button. And there's my rear view, my backup. Oh, where is it? There it is. Here's my overhead camera. So I love this overhead camera. Like I mentioned earlier, I was using that driving around the parking lot, of course not there on my 10 inch uh, display over here in the center, but really nice. Um, this is the honey, oh shit, we lost the Jeep, you know, camera. This is a great camera for you. Um, please note that there are seat options in this RV. This is the more demure of the two. This is the petite seat, which gives you a better walking space here. Uh, I get a lot of people who go, why would I want a big seat? Well, you might have a puppy or, you know, I don't know, maybe you just want to have a little more room. This seat is really, really comfortable. And the thing that's nice about this seat is it gives you a little more walking space to and fro. And then let's go ahead and let's cover our step cover just to show you what that looks like. So really nice there. And then of course, this is going to be a full recliner. So I have you know, really, really luxurious, nice accommodations. This does go up more than that, by the way. But for the sake of time, these videos are always so long. So I apologize in advance. Um, in all honesty, we did a video of this a few days ago, but I wanted to really just focus on what 2022 has to offer because I think it's so much. Um, wireless charging docks on both, both sides for the driver and the passenger. So that's super nice. I love these big wood drawers. They're really nicely made. So love that. Um, climate control, of course. And then as you saw earlier, we talked about this camera here. Again, we've gone away from the Rand McAnally. They stopped doing RV support. So now we're using uh, the Nav and Go system. But these Excite monitors are 10 inches. So super, super big. And then what's really nice about them is you can see really easy touch screen, Bluetooth control, HDMI control. You can set up your iPod. You've got your camera control. All of those things are so nice. Um, here's your radio setup. We do have the radio on. I can probably turn that down for right now. Listening to some good old fashioned NPR. 
Um, but I love that. And I do want to go ahead. I'm going to, I'm going to hop in front of you, Jody, because I'm going to hop into this driver's seat. And we're going to talk a little bit about some of the features that really make this coach super, super nice. Um, and one of them is going to be... Now, of course, this is a rear engine diesel pusher, so I did turn this um, off during the video, but look at this beautiful glass dash. So really, really nice on-guard collision mitigation system. Oh, I just accidentally hit the horn. Let's do it again. Woo, that's big. Um, okay, lane tracking package, so you can see your lane tracking here. Uh, your mobile eye will also show up here as well. And then you've got really great control where you can go through and just choose between A and B to see your, uh, your fuel levels. Um, and then you also have your air leveling system for travel. Um, and you can set all of this up. You can set your auto ride so you can have auto level. You can have a high ride, a low ride. Um, ooh, let's see what more has to say. I've never done more. Oh, there we go. Look at that. How fantastic. I mean, how cool. I didn't even know that screen was there. Sorry, guys. I don't have an Essex yet. Working on it. All right. Working on it. Um, but so brightness of your dash messages if you have issues. I have issues. No, I'm just kidding. I don't have issues. I'm fine. Um, no, so Comfort Drive, this is the one I wanted to show you. So if you aren't familiar with what Comfort Drive does for you, as you can see, you can toggle this up and you can really get your setting. But this steering wheel, when you're driving this coach, it turns so effortlessly. And as you can see, it's going back to center here. That's Comfort Drive. Comfort Drive always wants you to be straight. Now, if you're changing the level of the wheel, it's so effortless and soft. But when you are driving down the road, Comfort Drive, the higher you have it set, will keep you going straight so you're not fighting that wind. And the reduction of driver fatigue is so incredible. So for those of you that are out there looking for a coach that has, you know, this fantastic, really easy to see great side mirrors with your lane changing cameras integrated into them, you can see your signals integrated into them. So someone who's on the left of you can see that you're looking to change lanes. All of these things are available here. Uh, this is to control your stacker trailer. So this is to control your braking system there. Power mirrors, heated mirrors, auto high beams. I mean, just so many fantastic things. You've got a power window here for the driver. Um, just a so, such a nice setting. And then memory uh, can, uh, programmable seats. Now, typically I sell this coach to couples. So I'll go ahead and take seating number three. I'd only like to borrow it for two or three weeks out of the year. I mean, no, I'm just kidding. I know you probably won't let me take your Essex out. I wouldn't let me take my Essex out because I probably wouldn't bring it back. Um, great cup holders, Allison transmission. So there's different transmissions by Allison, but of course, tried and true, always the best. This is the 4000 MH. It's going to give you the best trailing control. And this does have the Kurt Spectrum uh, braking system integrated into the coach. That's an optional feature. And then down here, you'll see this HWH computer, or I'm sorry, HWH computerized leveling system. This is your hydraulic leveling system. HWH powers not only our leveling system in our new Mars, but also our really amazing steps, which we'll see in just a moment. And also the hydraulic slide that's allowing you to have an all tile floor. So we'll get to that in just a moment. Um, for those of you who want to have your steering wheel controls uh, power, it's just so nice to have these power steering wheel controls. Um, as you can see, it's super easy to use. Uh, you've got adjustable pedals. I mean, I just can't speak highly enough of the build quality and the and utility of this coach. Um, all your visor controls are just push button. Um, you have to hold it down for a few seconds, but look at that, so nice. Nice day shades the whole way through. And then as you notice when I'm lifting this up on the left-hand side, you can see that we have Josh, Doc, Josh, Josh Mitchell. And I have to tell you, uh, as somebody who's had to call Josh before, he is a true professional. Numar provides to you a brand specialist that's familiar with the product you're calling about. You've got your Spartan roadside uh, uh, phone number there as well. But you've got your Essex service at Numar Corp. So Josh's phone, if he's got a day off, is forwarded to an after hours phone where there's always somebody there. You can send them an email, include your coach number, tell them the nature of the issue that you might have, and you've got live, uh, live assistance for you uh, at Numar. Um, in an emergency situation, allowing you to stay on the road and be comfortable, which is such an amazing thing. Now here at Trans West in uh, Frederick, as well as Fountain, and as well as Colorado Springs, we have a gentleman by the name of Bill Habercorn. Um, Bill Habercorn is a walking RV encyclopedia. This guy is amazing. Um, I can't tell you 
how little people need to ask me for answers after they've found his number. Uh, when you take delivery of your coach here, you can see we've got a few people who've taken delivery. This is a service coach on the left. And then beyond it on the right, there's a nice little Canyon star they just picked up. I think that there's even a puppy in the window. Uh, there's a cute little white puppy in the window. But anyhow, so that is our campground and that is going to be a place where you have access in and out after hours. So after you pick up, you can still plug in. We've got 50 amp power. We have water on site. We have dump stations on site. Uh, so that you can stay here for a day or two and get your sea legs on and make sure you really understand how things uh, work and operate. Wade Phoenix or Tim Frank will give you a really amazing presentation and walkthrough. Bill Habercorn is here after you've taken delivery to answer questions for you. You can stay on site and make sure you understand how things work. I mean, these are just things that really differentiate um, the delivery experience for people who are buying uh, buying RVs from, uh, from TransWest. And it's funny because I just had a gentleman, um, and he called me this morning. So Preston, if you're watching, I told you I was doing a live video, I'll call you back. Ooh, Jody, show the floor, show the floor. Um, but you know, he said he was really, really pleased. He bought a pre-owned different from us, a 2022. And he said it was the best RV buying experience he had ever had. And being that this was number five, I took that as a huge, huge compliment. Um, really makes a big difference to me to hear people say things like that. Um, I'm very proud of the team that we have here and the work that we do, uh, but it's really great to have a client um, who's had as many RVs as Preston and his wife have had uh, give us such fantastic feedback. Isn't that a beautiful floor, Jody? I love that floor. Uh, such a nice, you know, beautiful porcelain tile with that wood effect. I mean, it's just so gorgeous. What a great way to hide dirt too. Great color combination. And I just want to quickly show you, so when I walk through here, um, I can get back here to the bathroom really easily. Now, is it like a huge amount of room? No, but you could have a big dog, not a huge dog, but a dog that was, you know, pretty sizable. And then you've got plenty of room to do your stuff in the kitchen. And then in terms of getting to the refrigerator, I get a lot of questions. Can you open the refrigerator while you're in motion? The answer is yes, you sure can. Um, and then you also can open your pantry as well. And you also have access to your restroom. So these are all really important features where you can see it's really easy to get in and out of the facilities because one of the reasons that you buy an RV, of course, is for the access going down the road so that you can have that quality family time. Um, one of the reasons you buy an Essex is because of these cup holders. I mean, really? Oh, just by the way, if I didn't show you this, you can change the colors. I picked out the blue that I thought was the best to match my shoes. But there's a different blue, so you could you could pick. You know, if you're like, if you're a Broncos fan, like you could do the orange and blue thing. You know, you could do whatever you want. You could turn them off if you think that they're a little bit much. I'm probably a little bit much, but uh. <laughs> anyway, so that's the inside. Um, Jody, take her outside. Let's take a look at this fantastic RV and all of the storage capacities. Oh, I probably didn't talk about the TV up front. I'm not a big TV person. Did I talk about this? I did. So here's just another um, access point, just so you know, to your um, My Rosie app and to all your silver relief controls. So if I didn't mention that, I apologize. I get a little bit distracted sometimes. I'm a little bit like a goldfish. I'm going to bring our, our uh, carefree awnings in too. Um, so if you want to pop out, Jody, and take a look at that. So look at how beautiful this RV is. This is, again, this is the Riviera exterior and interior. So it's so nice to see this RV in all of its glory. Um, I didn't talk about this little desk that's right here next to the exit, but that's okay. I do want to mention, I love the screen. It's really nice. You could actually hand things through. And then on top of it, if I had like a lot of groceries and I didn't want to let Fifi out of the coach while I was loading and unloading things, I could hand things through to me here as well. So just a really, really nice feature here. Um, so you're going to have power doors. I'm going to go ahead and you can hit lock and unlock to lock those. Um, those will lock automatically when you put the coach into drive. Um, but another nice feature, this little glowy kind of DNA looking handle here. Uh, this is great. You can find the front door to your coach, no matter how many margaritas you've had. Just kidding. Um, maybe not. And then there's this little lock feature, so you can actually lock your coach and leave your keys inside. So if you're going to go paddle boarding, 
uh, which is our big deal that we like to do now that we have our great RV. Um, or if you know, you're going to go fishing, any of those things where you're doing water sports and you don't want to get your keys wet, you can lock your coach from outside right here. Now you'll notice that we have these fantastic HWH steps. So one of the nice features about these HWH steps is that they come so far down, but right here there's a little uh, kind of a rubber looking band. That's a sensor. So they articulate, they can actually stop anywhere along that path to give you access to the coach, which I think is really, really nice. Now here you're going to see there's these little kind of brick looking things. These are going to be your sensors. So this is going to be telling you if there's somebody in your blind spot. I, I know I mentioned this earlier, but you've got your turn signals are, in, are, are integrated here as well as these cameras. So these cameras are integrated into your beautiful chrome convex mirrors. Um, really, really nice feature there. Just really, really well done. Super high end. Of course, we've got dual filling stations. You do have a 150 gallon fuel tank um, and you can fill on both sides. You've got a 15 gallon def tank as well. Ooh, 206, that sounds exciting. Let's go ahead and say, can I call you later? By the way, folks, if you didn't know, um, there is a link to more information about this RV down below. Again, this is stock number 5N210799, um, but you can also ask questions while I'm on live. Now, I didn't put out the awnings today because it's pretty breezy, um, but these awnings, one of the things that's nice about this package is that you've got these two huge awnings. Uh, here's your door awning as well, so beyond the carefree awnings. And you can change the color of the lights outside, but it's just really cool. So if you are maybe parked in a place where there's a tree here, but not back there, you can open up one or the other. So you've got that full living experience available to you. Now you'll notice I do have my uh, tape measure out. I wanted to measure this. So we've added this really nice um, shelving unit above these compartment bay doors, but I wanted to find out what, what the clearance was, right? So how much room do I have up here beyond all the stuff? This is, as you can see, like nicely uh, insulated. So there's some wires and such, but they've put this plastic guard here so you won't mess with anything when you load it up. But for those of you who are planning on taking delivery of this coach very soon, that's about eight and three quarters inches. And then here is our Dometic on a tray. So full extension tray. Even if your slide's out, you've got plenty of room to get this all the way out so you can have access to it with your slides open. And you can set this to either be drinks or you can set it to be a freezer. So that's a really nice new Dometic. The CFX is a great, um, great model. Uh, of course, nothing but the best in, uh, in Numar. And when you know the difference and you've been out there shopping, you know what a big deal that is. Another thing that we did this year is we've, we've improved our doors. Um, now, that's not to say that they were bad before, but they, the, the seals on them were really difficult to kind of get shut. So for those of you that would appreciate something a little easier to open, we have made them a little bit, I'm sorry, not to open, but to close, we made them a little bit easier to close. Now these, e these easy glide slides are super cool. They extend to about 60% of the overall slide length. So what that means is that you can actually access um, this tray, the tray itself is going to be about 89 inches deep, but you can access all the way up to, let's go ahead and see how much room you have here, to about five and a half, six feet. So yes, yeah, 66 inches, maybe five feet of your tray from one side of the coach. So that's really, really nice storage for people. Um, and it's just one of those things where you know, when you've got your slide out, if you want to be able to get into something from one side of the coach or the other, it's really nice that you have that capacity. I still want to go ahead and measure the height of this because I do think that with these uh, trays over top, it's important to understand what the height is. So these have just about 10 inches of clearance, maybe 10 and a half. And then here we're looking at about 17 and a half inches of clearance from the uh, bottom of this or the insert of the slide tray to the uh to the top level here now jody if you can show people inside here where you see this black um tubular steel bar so this is about two inches maybe one and a half inch uh square steel this is how we make our rvs so strong this is gonna be oh gosh what is that three inches right there i mean amazing 
So this is going to be the STAR foundation, which stands for strong, true, and robust. And what that does for you is it really takes all of the downward force, and you can see it's pointed in. It focuses it towards the inside of the, of the RV. So you've got really good weight support for your slides on the exterior. After they've built the STAR foundation and they've raised this coach up, um, you can see how much the improved storage is underneath. What they do is they actually take your floor on a separate table. Uh, it's called Big Bertha, that's what they call her. And they set your tile, they grout your tile, and then they heat it so it bakes, so it gets nice and hot. And what's nice about that is it prevents it from having any kind of setting issues. And because it's built on a flat surface that's then mounted to another flat surface, you don't get tile popping or cracking throughout the coach. And it also allows us to do a really nice job of, of integrating that heated floor for you. So this coach is powered by hydronic heat, which means there's a tube of, um, of, of antifreeze, <laughs> glycol, thank you, Jody. My camera guy, by the way, you guys never get to see him, but he is fantastic. He puts up with all of us five days a week. We do three videos a day and he is a trooper, um, but he's so helpful. Anyway, so this tube of glycol goes around the coach. It gets really hot with your tankless hot water heater, just like you would have your water heated. It's the same, same Oasis system heating that tube of glycol. And it runs through and it pushes air over that tube and that's what gives you that hydronic heat. So it's not in-floor hydronics like you would think of water. The heated floors are electric heat. Um, and what's nice about that is on a really cold night, you can set those bad boys to 10, keep the coach nice and toasty. You don't have any sound of fans. You don't have any heat pumps. You don't have anything. You've just got those heated floors. But when it's really cold and you need to get the temperature up on that coach nice and quick, I'll tell you what, there's nothing like hydronic heat. Super efficient, very quiet, great way to go. Um, and then, of course, for those nice light days, you've got, peat, you've got heat pumps. Now, I'm not going to open this tray, but I wanted to show you this is a huge tray. Um, this pass through goes all the way through. And then on top of this, you'll see we have a manual, uh, that's a manual uh, crank for opening or closing your slides and then that porcelain tile. And you'll notice all of our porcelain tile, look at the width on this porcelain tile. Talk about a residential style tile. This is, an, it says seven and three quarters, so eight inch by the time you get done with the grout, eight inch plank tile throughout your coach. I mean, like I said, this RV in so many ways is nicer than most people's houses. It's just incredible. Now you'll notice here underneath, we've got our intervac system. That is the same as the kick plate that we saw in the middle bath down below. Also, you've got your hoses over here on the left. You've got a bunch of outlets up here on the left as well. Great little margarita station, if you ask me, because it's right here next to our exterior TV. Oh, is it locked? Nope, it's not. Okay, I'm not opening it all the way because Jody knows I can't reach it. Um, but I wanted you to notice there's another sound bar. You can run the TV, you can run the dash radio, you could integrate this to your phone and listen to your, uh, you know, your playlist. And then there's also two USB ports and two 110 outlets out here, as well as a Samsung 4K smart TV. So you don't need to have a receiver on this. You could just watch Hulu, Netflix, whatever you wanted. Um, but love that. Now here, of course, we've got some water tanks down behind here. But why not have, like I said, you've got your margarita mixer over here on the right, all of your top shelf over here on the left, and then you've got your mixers down below, orange juice, you know, pineapple juice, all of your, you know, Patron, Belvedere, whatever it is that you're fancy. Just kidding. Um, I guess it's for uh, tire shine or something. I don't know. I don't use tire shine. That's for the guys who clean my coach. Okay, I told you how easy these drawers were to close. See how easy that was? Okay, so what does this mean here? Why does this one go out, or this one go in and that one go out? So these are like belly buttons, right? You've got an innie and an outie. This is gonna be um, something that Spartans actually even improved on. They've made it even better. But this is your tag axle. So you think of your tag axle as the axle that tags along. I actually got that from a client. So hi, thanks for tuning in and giving me great little speaking points. But what happens is you actually have a piston against this wheel and when it releases, it allows that rear wheel to pivot. So this thing turns on a dime. Super, super easy to park. And when you see two of these, like you'll see in our Supreme Air that are innies, those are twin screws. Those are giving you um, more power for heavy duty towing. You might find it in something that has a 40,000 pound towing capacity as opposed to a 20. Maybe you're bringing a big boat out of the water or something. 
But for those of us that are camping on the regular, one of the nice things about these tag axles is it takes this really long coach and it makes it super easy to steer and park. So this class A is easier to drive than my Super C. And I have so many people who ask me about that, but I have to tell you, if you don't believe me, I keep my Super C here for test drives. Typically we'll have a nice class A in inventory. I've got a 2019 London Air available right now. Um, you know, we've got a ton of cool stuff that you can come in and test drive, but really this tag axle situation that you have on the Essex combined with a fantastic Spartan chassis, which also, by the way, has a five year, 100,000 mile warranty on it, a standard just included. Um, but coupled with that and comfort drive, um, our air suspension, all of the things that we have, it really makes this coach easier to drive than anything else. So for those of you that are concerned about maybe picking up uh, if, you know, a 40 foot uh, Tiffin, for instance, like this Allegro bus I just took in on trade, nice coach, single axle. This tag really makes all of the difference. And it's actually one of the reasons that that client who wanted to upgrade their 19 to the 2022 uh, did because they got to go into that tag, which really makes a big difference in driving. So um, if you'd like to know more information about that, of course, you're always free to text me. You can email me. Um, I will answer any questions that you have, whether or not you're buying an RV from me. I will probably try to sell you an RV. Just, just a little disclaimer there, that's what I do. Um, but that being said, if you don't buy one for me, no harm, no foul. I'm always happy just to be of assistance and to help get you out there camping. So uh, understand I'm always available. Now here again, we mentioned that we have a 15 gallon DEF tank. It is also dual fill. And then as you can see here, we have this interesting uh, right front, uh, left, you know, front, left rear, left, so all of these, these are gonna be little air valves. So these are a uh, place that you could actually air up your suspension in an emergency situation. That's important to know about. Here you'll also see that we have our chassis disconnect. So these are gonna be our chassis batteries. And then of course we have um, all of our air drying systems. You know, everything's here. And then last but not least, let me see if I can figure this bad boy out. Where's the valve for this man? Um, I'll go leave it to me to not know. Um, I was going to show you how you open this this rear hatch. It's on the top. Jody's giving me the signal. It's back there. Okay. Well, maybe it's back here. No, it's it's inside here. There's a there's a lever. It's okay. What I was going to show you, and I think AC showed you in the last video, is this is the ISX. So this is a 15 liter brute horsepower Cummins engine. Um, this ISX is going to have 1,950 foot pounds of torque. So it is just insane. And as you'll notice, you have great access to it. There's no radiator here. It's because it's actually on the left-hand side of the coach. So it leaves you free to have access to the engine, not only here, but underneath the rear compartment in the bathroom. Now notice here, we've got this fantastic 20,000 pound towing hitch and you have your integrated tow brake. So your airline's already installed. You also have your seven pin connector and you have your Voyager connector. So if you do have a stacker or anything along those lines, Everything is already ready for you to go. Ooh, ooh, hold on. Check this out. I'm gonna go down here. I'm going down low, Jody. See how I did that? Okay, in the King Air, there's a valve. I do a lot of King Air videos. I think I sold, I sold five King Airs last year. So if you wanna watch a King Air video, I got a bunch of King Air videos. I sold a bunch of Essex too, but. Um, so look at this fantastic thing. So I love, Cummins always makes themselves red. That way you know what you're messing with. So this is so cool. Um, great, great execution of power and strength uh, on the part of Numar with this fantastic engine, tried and true. I love these beautiful LED uh, brake lights. Again, here is your uh, radiator, def fueling station. So that's the that other half of that 15 gallon tank. You can fill it from there, nice and quick if you're on the road. Now you can keep your hose here if you wanna have a gravity hose. Uh, this coach has a SantaCon system on it, standard. Um, oh, look, there's another little uh, track or another little uh, thing for your for your uh, blind spots. Um, okay, so all that being said, so you don't necessarily need to keep a hose in here. If you wanted to keep a backup, you can. But as you can see here, the SantaCon system just gives you such a more petite uh, grab or hose system. So you have a lot less hose. You can just keep it here underneath. This is it right here. And then there's a little, you know, grommet that you can open to, to take, you know, to put it through it underneath. Um, and then of course, really nice this year for 2022, we have the digital display uh, for our tanks as well. 
Um, of course, we've got our water, our water tap right here for hot water. Our water hose is on a power reel. And then you'll see the mana block system here. So this is something that is only on the Essex and the King Air. And what's nice about this system is you actually have control to each section of the coach. You can turn the hot or cold water off to the lavatory, to the ice maker, to the shower. So you can actually control the coach. If you had some kind of leak or any kind of issue on the road, you could really actually turn everything um, off individually as opposed to having to turn the whole coach off, which is very, very nice. Of course, we do have our hot and cold shower out here as well, our whole house water filter, and then a nice place to keep some paper towels. So just a really, really nice bay system here, very clearly labeled. Once again, Newmar is just fantastic uh, when it comes to these things. And you'll notice that this actually pivots down so that it goes underneath the slides. So that's kind of cool. And then here's our power cord. So this is going to be a 50 foot cord. Uh, it's 50 amp, of course. We have our surge protector standard. It is on a power reel. You just have the button right here. So super convenient, right? A little grommet here so you can go ahead and close that door when you're plugged into your 50 amp. And then here's our Oasis system. Again, this dual loop Chinook system is new for 2022. It's just giving you better zone control, allowing you to have, I think it's a 50,000 BTU uh, heater. Um, so really great hot water on demand. And again, these slides come all the way out again to that whole 60% on either side. You've got slide control on either one of these. Very easy for those of you who are looking for a nice situation for loading and unloading when you get to camp. And then here are our eight AGM batteries. So um, on the note of lithium, I can't speak for sure, but I've heard that the lithium ion battery pack is somewhere in the neighborhood is a $20,000 option on next year's Dutch Star. It's a lot of money. Uh, these are gonna give you 800 amp hours of power. I highly encourage you to get a um, to, to get the solar package either through Newmar or here at TransWest uh, for about the same money we can put 700 watts of solar on top of your coach um, but that coupled with 800 amp hours of battery package which is standard with these eight batteries is really going to be more than enough to keep you out there on the road uh, like I said so I spent my last uh, two years in uh, Verona and uh, I had three, three uh, 100 amp hour batteries and I had 525 watts of solar. Short of having to turn the generator on at about eight o'clock at night for about an hour just to make sure they were topped off. I mean, we never had any issues and that was only every once in a while, depending on how much we were actually using the coach and how many people were camping with us. Um, but just really important to understand, you know, with this coach, you've got a 12.5 kilowatt Onan, gener Onan generator on here, quiet diesel generator, runs off of your 150 gallons of fuel. Um, you really, you know, if you want to go lithium ion, you absolutely can, but it's a big expense. And um, I don't know what it is for that third battery in their, you know, upgraded package for next year, but I know it's a lot. And these are really inexpensive. I just put uh, eight batteries into a coach here that came in on trade. Um, I think that it had just maybe been parked a little bit too long. They were just dead as a doornail. Less than $3,000 for all eight including labor and some other little things that they had to fix as well, closer probably to 2,500 bucks. So just understand that there's uh, benefits and disadvantages to everything. I'm kind of struggling with putting solar on top of my house because I try to figure out how long it'll take, take it for it to pay for itself um, and how long I'm gonna actually be there. So keep those things in mind. If you wanna talk through it, um, I'm really good with the technical stuff. If I don't know the answer, I'll find it for you. Um, but I've done a lot of research. I spent a lot of time in Napanee. Um, in Elkhart, Indiana, you know, I've been to Winnebago, I've been to all of our factories, and I really do try to provide a uh, level of consultation that allows you to feel comfortable making your purchase. Um, so again, there's that other fueling station. You do want to fuel both of these at the same time. It would take a long time to do one side at a time because it's a saddle tank. Again, 150 gallons. Look at this bay. I mean, I don't know. It took me a while to really appreciate the difference um, with Newmar versus other manufacturers, but when I check in trades, and I see the way they do things the versus the way that Newmar does things. I'm always so impressed with this manufacturer. Um, it's just really, really nice. Now, one thing that I really like about the Essex is I like the fact um, that you can see the windshield wipers are hidden down here before, below our, our front end cap. Uh, there's our mobile eye, of course. There's one of our 360 cameras. I did want to mention that you're going to have 
Um, gosh, what did we talk? We talked about the automatic, or we talked about the Allison transmission, the 4000 mH. Um, I don't know if we talked about the fact that we have integrated tr uh, tire pressure monitoring on this coach, but that's a big deal. Uh, automatic traction control, another big deal. And then this, uh, this cap here. So we normally have a nano fusion uh, cap. So that diamond shield that we have, this is a beta fusion end cap. So just even that much better. And that just goes to show you um, this Essex is a fantastic value for those of you that are looking to get out in the open road. This is a 2022, it's available now. Um, if there's anything I can do to be of assistance, please reach out to me. You can always find me at TTRV, or I'm sorry, TTTRV or RVs Inside Out. And my number is 303-562-8659. You will find me here every Monday at about 1030, live on Facebook. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please let us know how we can get you out on the road and camping.